Okie dokie artichokies, we're back. This time we're gonna be going over our spelling deck. Our spelling deck are the cards that we use to um, practice the spelling of the sounds and the patterns that you just saw in the last video with the reading deck. Now this time, instead of giving you the card, oh looky here, I have some special visitors. All right, let's take a look at our visitors real quick. Let's see, I've got Ryan, this is my son Ryan. Now I've got another son Reed, he's back in the other room. These are my grandbabies, this is Ariana, and this is Ava. Let me introduce you guys. That over there, that's Eden. Say hi, Eden. Hi. That over there, that's Jaden. Say hey, Jaden. Hey, Jaden. And look right there, that's Carmelo. Say hi, Carmelo. Hi, Carmelo. And okay, don't forget about Monty. Look at Monty over there. Say hey, Monty. Hey, Monty. Hey, Monty. All right, now get out of here. Get out of here. Scram. <laughs> All right. So anyways, we're gonna be working on our spelling deck. Now parents, this is a great time to pause your video. You're gonna need something to write with kiddos. You're gonna need something to write on and something to write with, some paper, pencil, uh, or whiteboard, marker, whatever you have at home. So I'll wait while you go get those things. Remember, this is our, um, these are our handwriting lines here. This is our headline. This is our midline. This is our baseline. Uh, remember, if it's a short letter, it's not going to go above the midline. It'll stay between these two lines right here. If it's a tall letter, it'll go all the way up to that headline. And if it uh, is a letter with a tail, then it will go below that baseline there. Now, while you're writing these letters, I want you to practice your perfect handwriting strokes. Parents, uh, this is a great way to extend the lesson with their print handwriting. After we finish up all these letters, then they can go back and you can assign them a couple of letters at a time to do five or ten of those letters, making sure that they're using the correct strokes. And at the end of this video, we'll also be branching off into some cursive practice as well. All right, so let's get started. Now, the first thing we're going to do is we are going to write down the letters that make the sound R. Not the letter R, the sound R, like in star. What two letters makes the R sound like star? Write it down. Monty, write it down. What beautiful handwriting, Eden. That's right. A starts off like a C, go up to that midline, back down, down, down down come back up and over a r star r give me the letters that make the sound s now we actually know two different letters that make the sound s the first one is going to be s s sock s and then we also know about another way to make this sound whenever it's followed by an e i or y good carmelo that's the letter c Give me two ways to make the sound J. That's right, just like your name, Jaden. J, jam, J. And again, whenever you have an E, I, or Y behind a G, it also makes the J sound. Make sure you guys go, those two letters go below the bass line uh, with a tail. Give me a. U, umbrella, uh. Very good. Make sure you come back down on that line and bump the bass line. Give me the letters that make the sound th. That's a digraph. That's T, H, thimble, th. Give me the two letters that make the sound cool. Those partners always go together like in queen. Q, U, Queen, Coo. Make sure your Q has a tail that's facing the right way. Give me the letter that makes the sound E. Eh. Good. E, Elephant, E. Eh. Hit the ball, 
round the bases. Give me the letter that makes the sound ah. O, octopus, ah. Give me the letters. Oh, this is a big one. Let me erase my board. We need some room. Give me three different ways to make the long E sound. E. Three different ways. Good, Monty. E, E, feet, E. That's a consonant, com uh, that's a vowel pair that makes the E sound. What else? Good. E dash E. Athlete E, that's a vowel, consonant, silent E, makes the E sound. And there's one more way, I'll give you a hint. It's an open syllable. Just like in Eden's name. E equal E, very good. Give me three different ways to make a long I sound. Good. I dash E, five I. I, Iris, I, and there's one more. Why fly, I. Give me oh, four different ways to make the long A sound. Now you might be a little rusty on this one the first time you try it. Four different ways to make long A. First one, like in cake. Good. A dash E, cake, A. That's a vowel consonant E syllable. Second one like an apron. Good. A, apron, A. The next one like in tray. Good. A, Y, tray, A. And the last one like in sail, like a sailboat. A, I, sail, A. Give me Three, no, let's do two different ways to make the long O sound. Two different ways to make long O. Good. O dash E rope O and open syllable O opener O. All right. Give me the two letters that makes the er sound. And I'm talking about the famous way. Good. E-R says er. Now we know I-R, U-R, A-R, and even O-R can all say er, but this is the famous way. It's the most popular. Now, what makes the er sound always when it comes after a W? Like in world or word. W-er-d. It's always going to be O-R when it comes after a W. All right, give me the sound ooh. O, O, moon, ooh. Give me two ways to make the ch sound. C, H, chair, ch, and T, C, H, picture, ch. Give me the two letters that make the sound sh. S H ship sh. Give me the two letters that make the sound uh, like in book. O O book uh. Give me the two letters that make the sound v. Now I know we did th earlier. That was unvoiced. V is voiced. I can feel the tingle on my neck when I say it. Good. T H mother v. Now, give me two ways to make the sound mmm. And I know it's a funny sounding sound. My tongue is kind of in the back on the uh, roof of my mouth. The first one is going to be N, G, King, mmm. And the next one is going to be N all by itself whenever it comes before the letter K, like in sink and pink. All right, we're getting near the end. Give me the letter that makes the sound T, table, t. But remember that when we add ed to the end of the word, it can also make the t sound like in walked and talked. Give me the letter that makes the sound d. D. 
D dog D, but also E D makes the D sound like in smiled. Give me two ways to make long U. U. U dash E step up cube U and U unicorn U. All right, last card. Give me the two letters that makes the sound or. Good. O, R, fork, or. Very good, guys. Now go ahead and draw a line under that. We're gonna do five practice spelling words. Okay.